why you should not use comments. So we've talked a lot about different types of comments and where they're useful, but here's why you should ultimately not use comments. Now you might be thinking that comments are really good for code readability because we can just go down here and let's say for some reason this is garbagely written code, but we can't figure out how to do it any better. We can just have a comment that says, this code does X. And then we know that we could just read the comment and the code will perform X. Now this can be really useful when you're starting to learn code or when you're trying to think through your thought process, but actually using comments in code that you're not debugging is actually bad practice. Now here's why. Let's rewrite this comment to so this code prints out this will always run like that. So this now this comment accurately describes what this code does down here. What if I want to go down here and say, you know, this doesn't always run, it sometimes runs like this. And then we run it and we say, yay, it's good. Now the code sometimes runs and we move on and we go to the next task. Well, now the comment is wrong. It's actually lying about what this code is doing. So of course the easy way to fix this is to go up here and edit the comment and say, sometimes runs, oh, this is supposed to say sometimes. And then again, they match up exactly how they should. However, this makes editing code a lot more difficult. Imagine if you're doing this every line or every code block or even every file just saying what it does. That's a lot of work because you have to make sure that every time you change a specific line of code, you have to change every single applicable comment. And that's just not gonna happen. And that leads to comments that are just outright wrong. Good code readability and editability is when the code itself tells you exactly what it does. Here's another common practice that you'll see a lot of times, especially in beginners. And this often happens when you're declaring a function. So we're gonna go back to the function times by two, like we've done with n, and then return n times two, end, right? This is very clearly readable code. You don't need to really write any comments to understand what it means, especially because it's too short. But if this is a longer function, you may have the urge to say, this function multiplies a number by two. And well, if you don't have good parameter names, you might have to specify what kind of parameter it is. So it accepts one parameter n and n is a number. And you can say it returns a number that is n times two. Because often you'll find with good documentation, you have this is what the function does, this is what the function accepts, this is what the function returns. However, you will often find code that is like this. And the code, because you're actually saying all the documentation within the code itself like this, there's more comments than there is code, which makes the code really unreadable. Or you'll say, okay, this is a function call. Now we return n times two. And then we have another code and this is end the function now. And you can see very quickly that now the code is becoming unreadable just because of the number of comments. That is bad practice.